I was 12 years old at the time. It's really cool. We got out of the car. We walked through the forest, and man, we were walking up the steep paths and down, and all up and down, up and down. And all of a sudden, the path got really flat. Um, it was a sudden transition from, mm -hmm. but still the same woods, same trees, all that sort of thing, but very, very flat. Mm -hmm. We walked out about 100 feet into this flat stuff. The guy that was with us said, okay, now everyone grab hands. So there were 12 or 13 of us there. We all grabbed hands. Like, what in the world is this guy doing? Uh -huh. And he says, okay, now we, we got to get this all in sync. Everybody's got to jump up and down at the same time. <laughs> like, what is he doing? Yeah. So it took a, quite a while to get 13 people to jump up at the same time and land at the same time. So like big jump rope, I guess. But when we got into sync, I realized I hit the ground and the ground moved. The ground went down. And when I went up, I pushed off. The ground continued to go down. When I went up, I came back down. The ground was on its way up and I met it. And I realized oh, we're the pushing the ground up and down. It's bouncing. We're in a circle. So it was creating basically a wave. If you throw something into water and you see those round waves yes. move away from yeah. it. Every time we pushed down and then came up, the, that hump we're produced would move out from us like a wave through water, through the ground, okay? And as it did, these plants, which were standing up straight, would, would sway as it moved, and it got to trees, and the trees would move. And I realized, as we're continuing to move up and down, we got these concentric circles, we must be on water. All right. This, this must be a forest sitting right on top of water. Maybe. It's called a quaking bog. 